Hi, this is Rabbi Young. Thank you for tuning in to the weekly video email. This week's Torah portion is called Amor, and it is in the middle of the Holiness Code, the several chapters of Torah that give us rules to be able to follow the statute, you shall be holy because I, Adonai, your God, am holy. It's a lot to do. And one of the things that it says this week is, is while it's talking about who is allowed to partake of the sacrificial meat when the Israelites offered a sacrifice, someone who has a defect is not qualified to offer up these kind of sacrifices. No one who's blind or who has a limp or has a, a limb that's that's shorter or longer or who has a broken leg or arm uh, and anyone who ha who is hunchbacked or who is affected by dwarfism or who has a sty in their eye or a boy, boil scar or scurvy, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of different things that disqualify someone from being able to partake of the sacrifice fully. And yet just today at lunch, today as I record, I was speaking with Rabbi Einstein and we agreed that if you really want to be successful in this organization, this in, in any religious organization, there has to be something a little off with you, including the rabbis. And is that a defect? Well, not according to the Torah. But is anyone really not defective in some way or another? Whether it's small things like left-handedness or love of liver pate, um, or whether it's big things like a condition that has you put initials in front of your learning abilities, or whether you are very physically different from others or very mentally different from others. Everyone's got something. Everyone's got some sort of defect. And I wonder if this passage, in a day when we're not partaking in sacrifices at all, do we really need to point out each other's defects? Or do we acknowledge that we're all a little bit defective? And that's okay. Or that's a good thing. So whatever is broken in you, in the words of the Dan Nichols song, uh, I, I'm perfect the way I am and a little broken too. So all of our defects, all of our brokenness can be a blessing. How we learn from them, how we grow with them, how we see them as a blessing is what turns them into something that's a perfect part of who we are. So may this week and always be a time to recognize the blessing of our differences. Have a great week.